If you like fingerstyle ukulele or you think you like fingerstyle ukulele or want to get into it, this is a great lesson for you. I'm giving you a sneak peek into one of my best selling courses. And this is going to be a tutorial on my fingerstyle piece called October Rain. Hi, I'm Terry Carter and welcome to You Collect the Pros. If you're new to the channel, haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification. Also, you can find me over at Instagram at You Collect the Pros. So this is a very special lesson. This is gonna be uh, October Rain. It's one of my fingerstyle pieces from my 15-day fingerstyle course, which is available at youcollectthepros.com. I'm giving you a little sneak peek into the course, especially if you want to get started in fingerstyle. Now, this is day two, so this is perfect lesson, especially if you're a beginning fingerstyle player, and it also sounds really cool. It's just going to use your thumb and index finger. So no matter what level you're at, this is a great lesson for you. So anyway, enjoy the lesson. And if you're interested in a course, it's available at youcollectthepros.com. I'll put a link to that below, but it's the 15-day fingerstyle challenge course. Perfect course if you're a beginner or new to fingerstyle ukulele. All right, enjoy the lesson. All right, so I played a little bit more than a little bit. I actually played the entire piece. And we're gonna do that later at the end with the backing tracks. But let's just go ahead and dive into the first section here. So if your thumb right here on the third string and your index right here on the second string, and the whole concept of this entire piece is just gonna be this. This alternating thumb and index the entire time. So you wanna make sure you get comfortable with that. All right, so the first few notes are actually for a few beats are actually that, just two open strings, open third and second, just gonna go one and two and. Then you're gonna add your first finger here to the second string first fret, gonna do the same thing, three and four and. Then you're gonna reach out your third finger on the third fret of the second string, do the same thing two times and then right back to the first fret on the second string. All right, so that's the first part. Let's just do that together. Ready, and. Then you're gonna actually gonna repeat those two bars. So you're gonna do that section twice. The one thing I would try to do is keep that first finger down even when you're reaching up to the, the third fret. You don't have to actually lift it up when you get to that higher note. All right. Let me go ahead and play now the next section. All right, so there's a little bit more movement and the key right here is that your index finger is gonna start now, not on the second string, but actually on the first string. So put your third finger here on the first string, third fret, and you're gonna go, thumb is gonna still be on this third string. So. Thumb, index, thumb, two times again. Again, that index finger is on the first string. Then you're just gonna move this down to the second fret, do that twice. Now take the finger off, and you're gonna have open, first and third string. Now you're gonna put your third finger on the second string, third fret, and you're gonna do that, but notice your index finger now in your plucking hand's gotta move back to the second string. Down to the first fret of the second string. Now open, open second and third. Back to the first fret. And back to the third fret. So it's like the part is walking down and then it's walking right back up again. Let's just try that first part. Here we go, ready and. Now the next part is 
almost the same. Actually, the first three measures are the same, but then it ends with just a, a little tag. So let me just play the last part for you. All right, so it starts exactly the same thing. Third finger on the first string, third fret, and again, your index has got to go down to the first string, so it's just twice. Down to the second fret. Open, first and third string. Hop back to the second string, third fret. First fret. Open, open. So it's exactly the same. Now, here's the very last measure. All right, so the only thing it's going to do here is going to start now with the second fret of the third string. You're going to hit that with the thumb, then open, second string. Now you're going to do your first finger on the first fret, second string, but your finger here is going to be the thumb. You're going to use your thumb here on the second string, which is a little unusual, back to the open second string with your index, and then finish it with your thumb on the third string. So it's one and. Now I know that's unusual to have your thumb go to the second string, but I want you to keep this alternating thumb index for the entire piece, okay? So that's why we're going thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb. All right, just do that last measure with me. Ready, and... All right, so let's go ahead and do this last session. <laughs> I was debating whether we go to the backing track here, but let's just do this last session because I want you to practice going into that tag. Here we go, and... Here it is right here, and... All right, it's time to put it all together. Let's do the whole thing with the slow backing track. One, two, three, and... So that was a nice mellow tempo where you got the really nice sounding backing track in there. Um, it really helps to get these pieces memorized too. That way you're not so focused on the music all the time and you can actually concentrate on your fingering and playing with a little bit more dynamics and make it as musical as you can. All right, let's go ahead now, bump it up a little bit with the fast backing track. A one, two, three, and... So I hope you enjoyed October Rain. This is day two of 15 days of these finger style pieces. Um, and it's available at youcollectthepros.com. I'll put a link of that below. This is a fantastic course. You're gonna love it. You're gonna get all 15 days that's 15 different finger style pieces. You're gonna get all the backing track, the downloadable sheet music, and everything else that comes along with the You Collect the Pros method, which also includes all the tab and everything on the screen, just like you saw in this video. So when I check it out, I appreciate you watching this video. Again, it's a 15 day finger style challenge course available at youcollectthepros.com. That link is below and uh, we'll see you over there.